work with just, I mean, uh, a, a pretty even game and, and, and get that there was a good goal from, from us with uh, four some left. Just for Boy, I tell you, you, you know, it's like all weekend you're hoping your best player is going to make a play, and he did. I mean, the timing of it was unbelievable. I mean, that's that's the closest a weekend series we've had, um, you know, both games. So, uh, well, that was that was attracting me. Both teams on the rush were dangerous and good goaltending. You know, I didn't like I didn't like the penalty game, but other than that, man, that was that was an entertaining hockey game. <clears throat> Can you talk about the goal? What uh, what did you see? Beatty uh, tried to ice it. Did you see it hit somebody? Because their coach said it, it might have hit the referee. Can you um, recall if it hit anybody, who, and what the situation was? Well, the puck went across the ice in the D zone, and uh, we like to throw it to the other side and skate onto it. And I put my head down to skate as fast as I could. And once I got to the blue line, picked my head up, and luckily it was right in front of me. So I got right to the net and uh, put it on the back end up, upstairs on the far side of the net. Are you not sure if, uh, if it hit anybody? Or I have, I have no clue. I, my head was down. I was focused on getting to the other end of the ice and uh, getting the puck on my stick. Just call that puck luck. Right, well, you do a puck luck, but is that also like evident of teaching guys to you, know, you play till you hear the whistle and you keep playing because you know Kappa, the, their goalie was reading icing and and and, and kind of played it that way. So yeah, I think Murph was going to chase it down. Um, yeah, it, it definitely definitely hit the referee. But hey, that's a, that's hockey. I mean. It's no, you know, with the high glass, there's no place for him to go. So, um, lucky bounce for us. And but I mean, obviously, the finish mm -hmm. is what we should be talking about. <laughs> Two teams that are tops in the defense. Um, so, were you we surprised at all the quality of the chances on, on on both ends, or or not? Is that just a fact a fact of being good defense? The first period, I I, I was. It, mm -hmm. it was like I mean, we probably had five or six great days, as did they, and it was thirteen thirteen on the shot clock. I mean, that was that was that was unreal in regards to scoring chances. And then you know, I think as the game wore on and it stayed zero zero, it's not the guys are gripping it tight, but. You know, I think guys are thinking defense first. They don't want to be the one to make that mistake. You know, when it's zero zero for that long. I'm sure you're thinking once the five on three is killed, then that's going to give you momentum. But they pretty much took that. Away. I mean, it was still even after they took away from you. Yeah, I mean that's the key to the game. I mean that that's that's a huge segment in the game. You know, the intermission I think took takes a little bit of the. Um, the energy out of the building, but no, that that was huge. I mean, if they get one there, the way they play defense, you never know. So, I mean, we had guys, you know, a, a couple of key faceoff wins, guys blocking shots, and and Chewback was, you know, very solid. You had Lochner out there uh, on the five on three with, I think it was Weiss. Who's the? Uh, I can't remember who's the other defense. Uh, Kevin Albers. Okay. And then Beatty for a bit. Um, no, Lox is. Um, He's so quick, so if there's any loose pucks, he's going to win that that race, uh, and he's our best shot blocker. You know, he he'll he'll go down and block a shot. He he fronts guys, and um, you know when we're down, he, he's he's the first guy over the boards in that situation. Thought he did a great job. And Divi has replaced him. He's kind of the speed guy as well. Yep, and he's great in the lanes too. He's a very smart player. You need you need guys to sell out in that situation, but you also need you know guys that can jump to loose pucks, which I thought we did a good job of, good job of. You guys work. Go ahead. So Ryan, did, did you, you know, Coach said it felt like a track me. Did it feel like a track me? I saw you not in your head when he said that. To, to you out there for, for a while? Um, I, I mean, both games were even. I thought mm -hmm. both teams worked real hard. Um, it was a battle for sure. Um, as far as the track meet, I mean, we were each line every on it, both teams are just flying all weekend. So, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the pace was incredible and the the hockey was good. And because you got both teams uh, play really, really good defense, was there some. Uh, Desperation defense to it sometimes because it seemed like both sides people were going down to block shots and getting sticks on pucks and kind of throwing <coughs> bodies all over the place. Yeah, both both games, both the, uh, both teams played very defensively, packed it in. Um, I mean, both games are low scoring, so that's a that's a testament to how defensive it was. Ryan, we talk about this almost every week now with the injuries and stuff, and considering with the injuries and the guys in and out of the lineup, we got two points out of four against uh, Canisius. Not a great effort on Thursday. You rebounded uh, tonight. You know, looking at the big picture, what are you thinking about like the last 72 hours? Uh, not much. Just uh, showing up at the rink with a positive attitude every day and working hard and executing in practice mm -hmm. carries over to games. And no matter who's in the lineup, we're a really tight group. Tight group in there. We know that you know who, who's ever on the ice, we're going to play for each other no matter what. I don't know if you looked at the video yesterday. Are you going to fight for an assist on beating on this on the first goal? <coughs> Uh, yeah, they do that after the game. Yeah, I didn't. Was he the one that cleared it? Yeah. Yeah. 
so. Okay, yeah, yeah, they'll straighten that out. <laughs> they'll review that down in the office okay. yeah, before it goes final with Just Michelle. Yep. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I don't know if we, I, I mean, it's, you know, it's sold out again today, pre-sold out. I mean, and these guys know that. I mean, they, they're internet, you know, they're on the internet all the time. I mean, that's that's a great feeling to come to the rink and know that, you know, the Dwyer is going to be packed. And, uh, yeah, we we, uh, we have a great record at home. And, uh, you know, we use that to our advantage. It's, you know, we try to make this a tough place to play. We think we're physical, especially on the back, on the back line. And I thought, you know, we had a few big hits early in the game just to, to welcome our opponent, you know. So, um, yeah, two to go in the playoffs. So the streak's alive. That that's that's amazing for these guys. These kids will remember this. They're part of something special here.